PK. G'day, Hamish. How you going, mate? Cheers, mate. It's various parties. I've missed these. So good to see you. Such yeah. a good party. I've been hanging out for this. One of various parties. Barry Cassidy has sick parties. I've been waiting for this for so long. Yeah. Yeah. The lockdown's been really rough for me. I don't know if you've noticed, but like, really rough for me. You come out looking really fresh, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah total sick dog. Oh, yeah. So yeah. What, what do you got going on? You're still on r in the mornings? Yeah, still with Fran on our own breakfast. Yeah. Yeah, it's good, but it's, it's yeah. just a warm-up, though. It's just a warm-up for insiders. I, like, I belong on insiders. I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm never on insiders. You're on there every couple of weeks. I don't know how you... Anyway, you've got something going on there. But I have never been on the insider's couch. So you, you want to be on insiders? You want to you want to be taken seriously as a as an analyst? Like, okay. I just think I've got something to say. I've got things to say. I, I've got a lot to say. Okay, so you're gonna have to work your way in somehow. I've had my you've got Q and A though, you know. I've had my eye on insiders for a long time. Q and A is not political analysis. Q and A is talking nice to old ladies and listening to misogynists congratulate one another. Mate, no one cares. Like you, you say, you're acting like you deserve it. You know, okay, you deserve it. Why? Because you've been hanging around the ABC for a little while, and you just think that you should be up there with the big boys. You know, you gotta, you gotta earn your keep, mate. I was lining up for the Insiders hosting job. So let me get this straight, Amish. You think you're going to be the host of Insiders? Is that, is that, what, is that what you're saying? I met with Ita and she said I was her favourite and she was going to look after me. And I thought that meant I was going to get the hosting role on the flagship show. Hey mate, I wanted the hosting role on Insiders. Like everybody wanted that job. It's the best job in Australia. Think you should just be the host because you've been hanging around for 20 years? And Ida gave you a little a little kiss and a tap on the bum and like, yeah, you'll be right, you know? Like, no, it doesn't work like that, mate. Like, you've got to be the best to get the best job. But you know what? The insider's job needs an analysis. They brought Speezy across because Speezy knows what he's talking about. I can do a better job than David Spears. You could not do a better I've, job than David Spears. I've been at the ABC for longer than Speezy. He just skips across from Sky and waltzes into that job. Anyone can do a Speezy. Look at him. He just plonks himself there every Sunday in the on the couch like Forrest Gump and sets up these false dichotomies, like a war crime's bad or a war crime's really, really bad. No, I'm just gonna stop you there, no. Forrest Gump and David Spears are saints. They're basically saints. And then you come along with your servo sunnies and your privilege and your private school attitude and you think you can just, you think you can just, just waltz into the ABC's best job, the best job in all of Australia, the host of Insiders, you think you can just walk in who do you think you are? It doesn't work like that. This is the A, B, C. No one gets given that on a platter. You gotta earn it. You know what? Spearsy earned it. He earned it over at Sky. Working hard in the ditches, analysizing everything that he could. He came over to help out the ABC when Barry Cassidy, the legend that he is, stepped aside. And it's just so some little shit like you could step into there? I don't think so. No, no, no. They needed the best. The best. And I don't think that you even know what that means. I just said that I was a burgeoning icon. Burgeoning icon. Yeah. Nah. You, 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 don't, you don't know shit, mate. I'm, I'm out of here.